Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. Good morning, Britain's Ed Balls and Rundir Singh fought back tears as they discussed the tragic stabbings in Southport on Wednesday's show. Three children died in the attack that took place at a Taylor Swift-themed dance class. B.B. King, 6, Elsie Dot Stinkum, 7, and Alice Da Silva Aguiar, 9. Five children and two adults remain in a critical condition. A 17-year-old boy originally from Cardiff but who now lives in the nearby Lancashire village of Banks accused of murder and attempted murder remains in custody. On GMB Runveer, 46, and Ed, 57, moved from their usual seats on the desk to stand in front of the screen. They then read out the harrowing statements from each of the families of the children who died. A visibly emotional Runveer then stuttered, it's difficult to talk, as Ed let out a huge sigh. During a later segment of the show, local mums were asked about their reaction to the shocking violence. One admitted that she was running a similar Taylor Swift-themed workshop where kids could dance and make friendship bracelets for one another. Taylor Swift fans are famous for their friendship bracelet making and trade them at shows and concerts. Ed held back tears as he reacted to the interview saying, that reference to making bracelets, young girls at a Taylor Swift dance club at the beginning of the school holidays, making friendship bracelets which of course at concerts they give to strangers. And a stranger comes into the room and devastation occurs. It's just shocking. Ranveer paid an emotional tribute to the three girls while their pictures were shown on a big screen in the GMB studios, telling viewers, Good morning Britain, these are the pictures of the innocent lives that were taken far too soon. It comes as the mother of the little girl, seven, murdered in the Southport knife rampage has called for the violence to end after a night of rioting left 39 police officers injured. Elsie Dot Stankum was killed alongside six-year-old B.B. King and nine-year-old Alice Da Silva Aguiar in a horrific knife rampage on Monday at a Taylor Swift-themed summer holiday dance workshop. And following a peaceful vigil last night where thousands of mourners had gathered to remember the victims who lost their lives. Violent thugs were accused of showing no respect to a town that's grieving. Crowds of yobs, many of whom are thought to have come from outside Southport, torched a police van and left 39 officers and three dogs injured, including 27 who needed treatment in hospital. But as the community rallied together against the violence, Jenny Stankum, the mother of little Elsie, pleaded for the violence to end on social media. She said, This is the only thing that I will write, but please stop the violence in Southport tonight. The police have been nothing but heroic these last 24 hours, and they, and we don't need this. Eight other children suffered stab wounds in the bloodbath. Five are in a critical condition, alongside two women who were also critically injured as they bravely tried to save the children. And today the coastal community united to bring order back to their quiet streets on local Facebook groups some offered their rooms to people who needed a safe space, while others organized cleanup crews to remove the carnage of the night before. Builders offered their services for free to rebuild walls demolished after thugs threw rubble at police vehicles, and others took to social media to praise brave officers. Labor MP for Southport Patrick Hurley reflected on the vigil in the town on Tuesday evening for victims of Monday's knife attack, saying the community were reeling and in grief following the death of three girls. He condemned the beard-up thugs who threw bricks towards a mosque, and said Yobbs had got the train in and used the tragic deaths for their own political purposes. Speaking to the Today program, he said, These were thugs who got the train in, these were not the people from Southport. They were using the horrific incident on Monday, the deaths of three little kitties, for their own political purposes, and actually to attack the very same first responders and the very same police, who had been on the scene on Monday, were then being pelted with bricks the day after by these thugs. There's no way to describe that other than to say, it's utterly reprehensible, and we must identify these P.E.